children seem to easily express and exhibit the physical reality of freedom, unhindered by anything others say or think. And then as they grow through adolescence into adulthood, they slowly seem to lose that freedom of expression. What is it about our human social system that hinders and closes down freedom? Well, you need to understand how the ego-based way of being in the world develops. Mm -hmm. And of course, ego, as soon as you are born, arises because it requires nourishment. It requires that which are the basic elements of being in the world. Mm -hmm. But it is not arising to the extent that it hinders the nature of your ability to be in the world from a freedom perspective. Children themselves truly understand what is free because they do not think. They simply do and react to the stimulus of the environment in which they find themselves. But there are expectations in terms of group consciousness or that which is the social structure that they are brought up within. What occurs is that they come across boundaries. They come across limitations in terms of that which is the way that they are expected to be in the world. What is important that is understood from an adult perspective, you can see when you look at children, the freedom of creativity that arises, that they do not have any judgment of the nature of the outcome of something, but they simply act instinctually. Mm. And of course, it creates mess, it creates chaos, but only from that which is the perspective of the adult. But what occurs, as we have said, is when they are raised within a way of being in the world, a social structure that creates boundaries that they need to be able to understand and live within, even though they may not sign up to it, then that is when you can see creativity begin to be stifled. That is when you can see that part of the ego, because it is designed to allow the physical body to survive, it then starts to interact with another mechanism. It is then forced outwards, if you like, rather than remaining inwards, maintaining that which are the basic needs of the physical body. So it is the external aspect when it comes into contact with that through adults that place the boundary mechanism there that ego and freedom seems to disappear. So what would you recommend for parents? How would you? How can they best bring up their children? Hmm. Well, what we would recommend is, of course, there is a system that you need to give to your children. They are part of the world. They are part of the social system that they are born into. But in terms of allowing freedom of expression, whether it is in terms of safety or not, whether it is the impact of an activity that would have on the physical body that would take them close to death or take them away from death, it is for you, the parent, to understand where that boundary is. Of course, for some parents, in terms of the nature of their upbringing, the boundary is a lot further out and so there is a lot more creativity that can occur within the life of the child. And as there is more life, we would say, of creativity within the child, then that comes into the adulthood when that child becomes an adult and creates a different energy. It is for you, in terms of the parent, to teach that which you desire the child to be. You can, of course, not put in any safety barriers and you will see, in terms of the nature of the outcome of that child as an adult, you will see a totally different energy to if you had put lots of boundaries in place. Where you come from as a parent simply come from the point where it is safety that you are trying to put in place but not hindering the nature of the internal development of the child in terms of that which is freedom. A lot of parents are going to be parenting as a result of their own parenting. Of course. And their own restrictions mm. that have been imposed their own belief systems. Mm. So presumably parents need to have some level of education or clearing of their own issues before mm. they become parents. Mm. That is important to understand what you are facing in terms of the energy of a child and what it is if you can come into that thought process of understanding what kind of a parent you want to be. 
course, the funny aspect of it is that all parents get it wrong、mm. in terms of the child and the perspective of the child, because the way that you are is always coming from that of the limitation, always trying to place the boundary and prevent the child from being in total freedom. You come from that position of limiting freedom. You come from that position of limiting consciousness. It is the journey of the child to understand and come to an understanding from a conscious perspective. Why parents do that, and as a child, no child is going to understand the nature of that which is safety because it is not within the energy. It's not within the need for freedom to understand why limitation is important. Only when that child becomes an adult. Can they then see and look back at the nature of what are past memories that they receive in the present moment? Why their parents acted in the way that they did? And is that all part of being human, or do you recommend that we really start to address the way that we bring up our children?、Mm. Well, we would recommend that you really start to address how you bring your children up, because they are what you perceive to be the future.、Mm. They are the energies that are coming into this. Place and in terms of how you, as a set of parents or a set of adults, create the world in which they arrive, then you impact immediately the nature of their vibrational frequency. As adults and as parents raise their own vibrational frequency, understand themselves and what they want, then the vibrational frequency of humanity raises, and children that are born into that frequency have a different way. Have a different view of the world. You can see, in terms of the nature of how they interact with parents, what they say, what they do, what their abilities are, because they are born into a higher state of consciousness or a higher state of freedom, which is a higher vibrational frequency. So ultimately, each parent needs to be living in integrity、mm-hmm. and being their own inspiration for their children. Of course. So it's not just a question of imposing rules or society's rules, but maybe、mm. creating a new society through letting go of certain、um, restrictions that, or rules of society.、Mm. Well, what is important also, we would say, to acknowledge within the nature of each and every individual person is the creative energy, whether it is from a child perspective, it seems to be. Unstructured, it seems to be total freedom to do anything, to create anything that occurs. Then allow that to be, even though, of course, it may cause fear to arise within you or the parent, because the boundaries will be approached by the child of whether it is safe to do something or not. But allow that child as much as you can to grow up into an adult within the context of freedom. Allow them to move as close as they can, within your own comfort, to that boundary where the fear exists for you, but may not necessarily be a boundary for them.、Mm. But you can, of course, look at that boundary and examine the nature of your own fears as to why you do not wish your child to pass through that boundary. Where did that boundary come from in、mm. the first place? Well, you need to understand that because that is there for the reason you have had previous experiences. That has created that, and there, of course, as we always say, arises a fear. The fear is the boundary.、Mm-hmm. There seems to be advances in the schools, like the Steiner schools and the Waldorf schools,、mm. of allowing this creativity、mm. to occur. Well, it is that creativity that will eventually change humanity. Are there countries that are bringing their children up in this way that we could look to for inspiration?、Mm, well, you need to look to. Those countries where religions are not so prominent and are not so controlling in the nature of how parents should be. So, if you look to the Scandinavian countries and the way that their children are allowed to express themselves, as not just children but also young adults and as adults, in terms of the freedom that they are allowed, and when we talk about allowed, of course, there is still a control framework or structure in place, but it is more expansive than some of the other countries where. Religions, for instance, control the nature of how somebody can be free within their life. What about some of the indigenous countries?、Mm. Well, in terms of the indigenous countries, but also the indigenous tribes, yes, then they are totally outside of the nature of that which is the structure of the world. 
but you will still experience a structure within that which is a tribe that has not had any contact with humanity. But it is more freedom, it is closer to that which is nature. In fact, some of the tribes do not even differentiate themselves from that which is nature. They recognize that they are nature. Nature responds to them and they respond to nature. What occurs within humanity is that humanity as a whole has divorced itself from the environment, does not desire to be married to the environment, sees itself as separate. That is an illusion because mm -hmm. when you come back into full consciousness, what you can see is the environment talking to you and you talking to the environment. So in terms of creativity, the environment hmm, has created you. Within the freedom that environment enjoys, humanity emerges from. So you are freedom, but you come from freedom, which is the environment. I suppose one of the challenges that parents have is they can allow their children to grow up free, keep them safe, but then they know that they're going to have external influences mm. from the marketeers who are promoting sugar or mm. um, <laughs> you know, various uh, electronic games or whatever it might be. And so it can be more challenging for parents to continue to allow that sense of freedom when there's so many external pressures on the family. Well, it becomes a challenge because you allow it to become a challenge. Mm -hmm. If you are not in fear, if you are non-judgmental, then you will be able to push back those boundaries. You will be able to give your children that experience which is free from the pressure of being a particular child in humanity or being a particular young adult in humanity. The expression of freedom is key, as we have said, to the emergence of a new way of being for humanity. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome.